Marjorie Taylor Greene, who says that basically individuals who wear drag are the dysfunction. They represent the dysfunction and the derailment of the whole nation. However, she's defending her boyfriend who also dressed in drag at one point in his career. Here it is. And then they want to make fun of us on on the news and say, "Oh, right wingers, oh conservative Americans are upset over drag queens." You're damn right we're upset over drag queens. I can tell you, I don't think a lot, I think a lot of people are up now. They're all hashtag I am up. Of course, come and check it out here. Starts on Saturday. I'm kicking these shoes off, but I may keep the pantyhose on. It does yeah. feel kind of good, well, actually. Well, I'm, good I'm not going to pee in them, I promise. I'm sitting back in the studio. <laughs> okay, I got a lot to say about that, but let me first do this. She has had many past lovers, according to the narrative. The narrative has not really been disputed by Marjorie Taylor Greene. Prior to Brian Glenn, she had this fellow. Green was previously married to Tyler, excuse me, to Perry Green. Perry Green was her hubby for 25 years. God bless him. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene defended her boyfriend over the weekend after a video. An old video of a longtime news broadcaster dressed up in drag went viral. Right Side Broadcasting Network host Brian Glenn can be seen in the old video wearing a blonde wig and a dress, the type of dress up outlawed under anti-trans bills, sweeping red states like Texas and Tennessee. I'm literally LOLing, Green wrote in a tweet Sunday night. She claimed Glenn, and I quote, dressed in drag for morning news in Dallas years ago, reporting on an upcoming local theater production. The left is so stupid, she added. On Monday, Glenn seemed to take an unearthed drag video in stride. Some of the best times in my career was working as a feature reporter in morning television where I had the opportunity to engage in the local community, he told the Daily Beast. Truth be told, pantyhose is way too scratchy for me to wear. God bless women, he said. The irony of it all. Now remember, these are the same individuals representing that people who wear the same attire that Marjorie Taylor Greene's boyfriend wore. That literally, that should be not only a crime, but a crime punishable by actual incarceration. They have said on record, they believe individuals dressing in drag somehow permeates to the youth culture and adversely impacts their ability to grow and progress as young people. They don't care about guns, they care about drag until they are caught in drag. I have more actually. So Marjorie Jill Green, she has this history of dating individuals that you know they have their own unique way of dressing. Here's another example, yes. Marjorie Taylor Green dated that fellow. According to the Daily, back in 2012, Marjorie Taylor Green, while married to Mr. Perry, allegedly had an affair with that guy, Craig Ivey, a self proclaimed sex guru, when they worked at a CrossFit gym in Georgia. Why is that newsworthy? It is not. I decided to put it in there myself, personal preference. Also, this guy, let's put it up. According to the Daily Mail, after their fling ended, she moved on to the gym's manager, Justin Tway. That's Justin. Okay. It seems as if those on the right, they actually have a fascination with drag. I don't understand. Why there's this prohibition, this fight against it. This is obviously a bipartisan issue, just ask Giuliani. Mm, I like that. This this may be the best of all. Oh, you dirty boy, you. Donald Trump was enjoying himself. And this historical context of Giuliani, who basically will wear anything for a paycheck. There it is. 
basically all but one of those outfits would be illegal in Texas. Here's the irony and the reason why this is important. You know what they're doing? They're literally creating, once again, a false boogeyman. They're telling you, oh no, we cannot allow Democrats to ever um, implement their uh, progressive policies. You know why? Because people will wear drag and drag is bad according to them. However, as you can see clearly for the record, individuals who dress in drag were not problematic in the conservative party until recently. Now all of a sudden it becomes this great evil. You see, it's kind of like critical race theory, something that really no one debated about at all. Until Donald Trump said, hey, hey, this thing is bad, it's evil, it's wrong. He popularized the sentiment that said we must be anti-CRT. They are very good at this part of the game, the political game, where they will literally create the dilemma, frame the debate, declare what side is right, and then engage in a debate that has absolutely no grounding in good faith intention. They simply want to obtain, maintain power. That is it. They're hypocrites at their core. Don't really know who they are. They don't care. They just want to be powerful. All right, Sharon, the irony and hypocrisy, maximum level on this. What are your thoughts? Well, first of all, excellent job. There's a lot of partners that you went through there. I'm sure you couldn't include everything. This is a limited broadcast. But I will say this, her new partner as a male news anchor or feature reporter. I want to tell you something, Dr. Ritchie, this investigative journalism that you've done, people need to know a lot of journalists on television will be arrested. They wear Manx, they wear makeup, mm-hmm. they wear hair pieces, lace fronts. You think it's just the mm-hmm. women? Okay, so you're right about this hypocrisy thing. It's just, it's incredible. They have not thought it through. Yeah, well, I guarantee you more video is going to come out on other people. Oh, yes. Okay, (laughs) we'll bring the updates as they come.